There's a first time for everything, and that is exactly the case for the Cisna Park boys basketball team. They played in their first state championship final this afternoon, and in head coach Kevin Long's final year of coaching, they look to take home the 1A state title against Providence St. Mel, and the T-Wolves come out and grab an early lead. Connor Lober hits it there to put them up 6-5, but St. Mel goes on a big run from there. Tyrell Nelson getting the steal and going the other way. Cisna Park needs a timeout. Nelson had a game high. 15 today. The Timberwolves get a bucket out of the break. It's Julian Stadley hits his twin Christian. They make it 16-8. But St. Mel starts to pull away in the second. Eric Jordan hits the three, all part of a 22 run as the Knights take control of the game. They lead 29-13 at the half. The T-Wolves put up a fight in the third, though. Brian Fair knocks down the three. Then Julian Stadley again makes a nice move in the post. And T-Wolves call a quick timeout as the lead gets down to 11 midway through the third, but they couldn't get it any closer. Nelson driving and dishing to Deion Jackson for two, and the championship goes to St. Mel, 52-29. And with more on the Timberwolves' historic run, here's Brett Behrens. It's not the celebration Cisna Park was hoping to have, but the history speaks for itself. For the first time ever, the Timberwolves hoisted a state trophy. <laughs> it's been a really fun time. Uh, we struggled a little hot freshman year. And we did, got together a bunch of times and it's like we just got to stick it out because we're going to do something great. It's not just the hardware that the program in town will remember, but the head coach that led them to it. Kevin Long hugged each one of his starters at the end of the game. He's retiring after nearly three decades in coaching, 24 of those at CP. Not many coaches can sit at a podium like this, even though in, we're in defeat, and say that I got to coach the last game of my career with a great group of guys on a big stage for a state championship. Long said all year this season was not about him, instead putting the focus on his players. But after it was all said and done, the only thing the players wanted to talk about was their coach. He saw stuff in us that we didn't see and he helped push us to our limits to try to get the most out of us. He helped turn us from boys into men. He's meant so much to us the whole season. He's pushed us so far and made us believe in ourselves and from that we achieved so much and we couldn't have done without him. Long finishes his career with 503 wins and a state runner-up trophy. Fittingly enough, he'll be inducted into the Illinois Basketball Coaches Association Hall of Fame in May, forever cementing his place not only in the town he gave so much to, but in the record books as well. Reporting in Peoria, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports.